my name is vikas and welcome back to our channel so today we are going to learn about another type of pattern command which is called fill pattern so let's see how it's going to work so fill that fill pattern is under the feature command and it is here as you can see so i can see on the screen that we have a multiple shapes like rectangular square circle and hexagon so we are going to use all the options which is under fill pattern command on these shapes and we can see how it's going to look so let's start first go to linear pattern select fill pattern as you can see we have an option called fill boundary so which is like what is the boundary we can select while applying that command and this is pattern layout and the first one is perforation second one is circular third one is square and the fourth one is polygon so we can check one by one how it's going to work scroll down and we can see we have selected feature and create seed cut option also so let's see how it's going to work one by one so i am first selecting this perforation and i am going to select fill boundary as this like all the boundaries are selected in a rectangular shape this is instance spacing so i am keeping it 50 this is angle between the spacing which is 60 or we can say i am keeping 45 this is margin so what should be the margin between two sp spacings and this is the age so we have already selected over here as you can see so for this we need a profile which we are going to fill the pattern so here we have two options like if we select selected feature option we have to create a cutout which is previously done on that model or if you don't we can select this create sheet so we can do it here right now and we have already created one so we have multiple shape as you can see under this create sheet cut option so i'm keeping this as circular we can also change the diameter of a circle so we can say i'm keeping this as 15 okay scroll down so all looks good okay as you can see we have used perforation fill pattern option and it's look like this so we can see like we have this type of pattern on that rectangular shape so let's move to another option of fill pattern so again select fill pattern as you can see the first option is fill boundary so i'm going to select the fill boundary like this boundary i'm going to use for this command and i'm selecting the second option under the pattern layout option which is circular and we have loop spacing so i'm keeping loop spacing as 30 okay this is instant spacing i'm keeping this as 30 also this is margin so i'm keeping this 30 again so we can uh, use this values according to our requirement this is pattern direction so for circular one we need a direction so i have already created a sketch on this circular shape so we can select this for the direction purpose okay so now it is selected scroll down again if we have previously have a cutout or any shape we can select that shape but if you don't have we can go for create seed cut option and here it is selected like circle i'm selecting here okay everything looks good so we can also change the diameter okay if you want to change the shape you can also change the shape so i'm changing the shape for the better aesthetic okay so as you can see it is in a circular form when we select the second option 
okay so now we are going to use the third option in fill pattern so again select fill pattern command and this is the option which is called fill boundary so first i am selecting this square and then i am selecting fill boundary option so select this okay so we have an option called loop spacing so i am keeping this as 30 okay we can also have this option but here i am selecting target spacing the second option is instant spacing also i am keeping this as 30 and this is margin so which is already 30 and age for direction is already selected over here you can see so i am selecting this create seed and we can have a circle and we can have any shape which is over here okay okay so now it's look fine so as you can see it is continuous filling of any cutout or pattern but here in the first one it is not a continuous it is alternate like here it is not as you can see but in this option we can see we have a continuous cutout so th this is the difference between perforation option and the square option okay so let's move to another option in fill pattern which is polygon so here is the option called polygon so first select fill boundary so i'm selecting this shape okay the so this option is loop spacing so i am keeping this loop spacing as 30 okay fine and this is option called polygon side so like how many polygons sides we need while using the fill pattern option so i am keeping this as six okay this is called instant spacing so also i am keeping this as 30 this is margin so which is already 30 that's fine for me and this is called direction option so which is already selected here I, as you can see okay so i'm selecting this create seed cut fine okay we can also change a diameter of circle okay as we can see here when we selected the option called polygon sides it it is patterning on that side only like one side two three four five and six so it is creating a shape like polygon so we don't need a part which look like polygon at all because we have an option in this that we can select a polygon sides value so when we change that value to six to eight it will convert into eight sides as you can see like one two three four five six seven and eight so it worked like that if we select that so thanks for watching this video if you like the video please like comment share and subscribe our channel thank you thank you very much